All right. Anybody ever see a uh, Phantom 500 like this one? This one here is a um, old Phantom 500 uh, dual stage multiband, and I'll show you the multiband on the front in a few. But anyway, um, this is the output tank coil over here, and if you see all that extra coil is for the ham bands. You know, I've been saying that, you know, for the CB bands or 10 meter, uh, you only need about uh, four turns of coil, depending on the size and how tight it is and all that. And how this works is this coil is for uh, 10, 15, 20, and 40 meters. And for 10 meters, you start over here and 10 meters that's the tap for it and that tap goes to a switch and that switch bypasses all the rest of the coil and takes it right to the um, load cap right there the uh, tune cap is kinda tucked in underneath there but the tune is on this side about three turns of coil three and a half on this one but it's tight um, and like I say, you need about four, three or four turns of coil, depending on the sides and all that, for uh, 10, 11 meters. And then this tap, two turns up, would be the 15 meter, the 20 meter. And then for 40 meters, it uses that whole coil. So over here, on this amp, it's a monoband only, made for... Um, 10 or 11 meters only let's just say 10 meters and here's a smaller tune cap because you don't need a lot of capacitance especially for the tune on a 10 meter amp you need uh, much more as you go up the um, up the band this one here got much heavier blocking caps these two um, commercial type locking caps where this has just uh, two discs and again for um, 10 meters only there's your four turns of coil this one got a much heavier coil and it's spread out too that's why that needs four and over here is very close together so it can get away with three and then that's the load cap there's the camera there you go load cap over here um, but again what's what's up with this uh, phantom look at all the um, tube sockets what we got over here is um, four small tubes for uh, baldies and a baldy means it's um, glass on top and the plate comes out the bottom the bald is the top is bald Whereas on a uh, sweep tube where the um, plate is on top, you get that plate cap on top and um, your plate components there. The uh, baldies, it's underneath with the rest of the tubes. So anyway, this one has four baldies driving four uh, regular size 6LQ6 driver tubes driving eight uh, 6LQ6 driver tubes. Kind of an interesting configuration, right? Four driving, four driving, eight. And this comes with a separate power supply. Um, come to f And it's got two fans in it. And other than that, it's pretty close to, you know, what this um, Phantom 500 is. And again, this is the multiband with all that... Um, band stuff and coil in there or this one is single band this small tube here is the keying circuit tube or keying circuit tube and uh, over here is where the keying circuit or keyer tube would go on this one so let's turn it around to the front this one's pretty light with the separate power supply and what do you know that's not a phantom that's a uh, DNA warrior KWD 1000 
and it's set up you know similar to um, the uh, Phantom 500s and let's turn this one over or to the front so it's you know pretty much the same design if you look at the knobs and the driver tune configuration tune and load um, this one does have the uh, bands which right here for 10 through 40 meters somebody added this switch here on this phantom it's nothing connected to it so I don't know have no clue what they were trying to do to it pretty basic on both of them um, power or a filament on standby operate AM SSB only adds to delay to the relay and then over here is the um, high power low power um, DNA used different ways to get high power and low power sometimes they padded the um, input and other times they used um, a center tap on the high voltage power supply and a regular uh, high voltage just runs around 800 and the center tap ran about 400 and um, you would get a lot less out running it off the 400 volts versus the 800 volts also it's interesting um, how they got the two meters set up where one meter panel meter like that would go to the output of the final tubes and then on some of them or most of them we are on the low side you're just running the driver tubes and you're bypassing the final tubes so since that meter is connected to the final tubes it wouldn't be in effect when you're running the driver tube so that's how they got the second meter configured so you know depending on your high on that meter or low on that meter with the driver tubes and I think it's it is the same way with this uh, DNA warrior so on low you can have four driving four and it's got the same thing driver tune um, tune and load and then your final tune and load and why you have a um, separate driver tune you got two tunes one is again um, when you're on the high side you are using one set of tune and load that's going into the tubes and then you're when you're on the low side you're just using the final tube so you're using a different set of tuning loads <clears throat> you're actually using the uh, tune here and then the load over here on the high side and then that goes into the final tubes and then on the low side where you're just using the driver tubes you're using this tuning load here this coil and instead of going into the driver tubes it goes into this relay here and if you see this one coming around it goes into the antenna so your driver tubes the uh, output on low would go uh, again tune and load here into the relay out the relay and then into the antenna relay over here this warrior is kind of interesting it's got five relays in it you got the antenna relay high side low side relay and I even figured out what all the rest of these do probably a high voltage relay and I haven't even um, seen what the other two and again the separate power supply so no uh, high voltage transformers or, or the high voltage capacitors are in the um, other piece and that there is the um, I guess you would call it pre-driver input on this uh, KW1000. Your radio input would be tuned by this. And then these are the four body pre-driver tubes. And on the back of this is a little different because you have a, another set of tuning loads, right? On the back of this you got a, uh, and it says uh, D, DI. I guess I don't know if driver I don't know D1 but anyway tune and load for your four baldies the pre I call them pre drivers 
the grid tune is for the um, radio input then pre driver tune and then you got your driver tune and your final tunes over here on the front and that's about all I could tell you that I know on this um, warrior right now I'm gonna play with it you know coming up another project big project gonna take me some time to do this one and I also got this um, project Phantom 500 and over here that's the um, driver output um, tank coil with the ham bands and again you only need about uh, three or four turns and the rest are 15 meter 20 meter and 40 meter tap and then that also tunes the um, driver input into the final tubes and this one only has three relays in it and I know what these do your antenna relay switches you know the relay from antenna in to um, transmit and transmit out I believe this one is the high voltage relay and then this one was the um, high low relay but looks like somebody already bypassed that see a lot of wires disconnected from that already I probably do the same thing I'll probably take more junk out of this when I play with it and get rid of the uh, band switches and get rid of that relay and also these two caps here go to the center tap and if I'm gonna bypass the uh, low power I get rid of the uh, the center tap capacitors and these phantoms had two banks of capacitors three 100 UFs in series 100 UF at 350 volt in series so each of these two sets would be uh, 33 UF and if they were originally 350 volt they'd be a thousand uh, fifty volt rated and again the um, amplifier runs at about 800 volts and you want a, at least a 10 percent safety factor I mean you, if you got an amp run it at 800 volts you don't run and run an 800 cap or you know it'd be apt to blow so it's got two banks you know and you add them all up um, when you got caps in series like that the US are divided so three one hundreds in series would be 33 US if they were in parallel the voltage would not go up the voltage would be the same but the capacitance would be added if you had them in parallel but again most high voltage amps is going to be in series because they run you know 800 a thousand two three ten thousand volts so if you're going to run these little electric licks it's you know you got to have a bunch of them in series got two banks so you got a 33 UF um, total and then you got another 33 UF total and these two are in parallel so you would have 66 UFs at 1050 volt if you had originals in there and if I can find some 600 volts I probably just you know like 220 UF or something like 600 volts I can replace you know all six of these with two caps you know using 500 volt or 600 volt caps and still have the safety margin and that would make it a better amp than having you know all these wired in uh, six caps in series like that so man look at that that's loose already so anyway I think I covered everything I wanted to cover today on this um, Phantom 500 dual stage coming up and then this is going to be a long term project I guess my um, Warrior KWD 1000 okay that's it for this one back